Welcome to the shortwave radio channel, and this is just um, a second video talking about this little Chinese DSP unit. Um, when I use it on it, my external antenna, so I have it here connected to uh, my uh, MLA30 here through the antenna coupler. It's a very surprisingly sensitive radio. I've got to say that I've been I'm pretty surprised. And it actually does receive whatever any other big gun radio actually receives. I've been actually challenging it against the same GNATS 909X2 and Texan PL 990X. And I can tell you that the performance of this little thing when on an outdoor antenna is almost as good. Now, there is a drawback on many bands when there's a strong, there's a lot of strong signals. Uh, it does tend to have a little bit of overloading, uh, but you do have attenuation possibilities if you do need so. So that's possible, but um, it, it in general performs surprisingly well for what it is. The other thing also is um, upper lower sideband is, is nice, it works fine. What is maybe a drawback is, um, you know, I always say that sometimes frequency accuracy and single sideband on receivers is not always perfect and it's difficult to know what frequency you're actually tuned to. And I've seen people report stations one or two kilohertz away because of the way the receiver is designed. You don't have that ac accuracy where you really know what frequency you're actually tuned to precisely. And it's really in single sideband that that shows the most because... Um, of the, the way that these signals are designed to be listened to with the, the BFO and, uh, uh, and and depending on the receiver you use, you know, the the frequency precision, that's where it's going to show that it's off beat. On this radio, so when you listen to a single sideband signal on this radio, you have something, so you go into the mode, for example, here. And you've got something when you press that button here that you use to tune you will have here BFO and it actually gives you a offset that you will be tuning depending on what you're going to listen to. So it's kind of a, an awkward way of tuning a signal if you want, but it, it works. It's just that it kind of tells you how many hertz the BFO is, um, which kind of gives you the impression sometimes that you're, for example, I've been receiving uh, amateur stations and comparing the frequency with my Texan PL990X to make sure what frequency the ham station is actually on, or sometimes I'll compare it with the my SDR, because I know that I'll know what precise frequency they're using with that. And what fools you is that sometimes you'll be on the correct displayed frequency but your bfo will show for example minus you know a thousand two hundred hertz that would kind of lead you to think that you're off by 1.2 kilohertz basically which is not the case so that means if you had no other reference to know the exact frequency you're tuned to you'd maybe think that you're actually tuned off by a kilohertz or two. So it's kind of difficult to really know what frequency you're tuning in single sideband because of that. So that's kind of an awkward way of doing it. Um, and it's, uh, but you know, it works and it receives. And like I said, I'd received on this thing, I received everything that all the other portables received and uh, using the telescopic, which is, Something that, um, it is surprising. I was not actually thinking that it would actually work like that. Of course, using an external antenna, all the internal noise is gone because there's shielding of the uh, cable. So there's no internal noise that actually goes into the circuit anywhere. Uh, so on the, of course, uh, you know, it, it's meant to be portable, but if you do use an external antenna, it, it works well with that. It's decent and receives well. Once again, the awkwardness of the buttons, the way that you got to tune around and all of that. And I've seen people say, well, you know, you can open the thing and reprogram it. And that's beside the point because, yeah, some people will do it. Some people have the knowledge to do it. 
this channel is actually a channel for people that have uh, more basic knowledge and this is not something they are going to do that's not even something they are going to try so you got to understand how this thing acts and is the way it is because that's probably pretty much the way it's going to stay um, whether you're uh, you know um, if, if, if you're, you're buying this and you have you know just the basic or the, the intermediate shortwave knowledge uh, but yes of course I'm an enthusiast and I think this could be where it is uh, aimed to an enthusiast that likes to fiddle with you know technology can open this thing reprogram per you know the arduino and all of that and and, and change a lot of things uh, for sure and um, you know up to what point even if you know what what can you reprogram and and maybe change whatever for something on the display here change the way that all of this works is is maybe possible also uh, but you know, it's surprising for the way for the thing it is, um, and I'm glad to have a, uh, an addition to actually try and, and test because um, it's uh, it's a cute little thing to play around with, even though it has its drawbacks. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.